Hey there, Dave Gardner here. And in this video for Memory Place, we're gonna learn how to add pictures to an event. So assuming you've sent the link to someone or sent the QR code to someone, okay, I have a whole series of training videos that are out there. All you have to do is check the YouTube channel. You'll see all the different Memory Place videos I have. And if you want to send that link or the QR code, so you're gonna use these two buttons, obviously. I talked about that in a different video, but Let's say they open up that link and they go to the right page. I'm going to get rid of these ones here just to clean up my uh, member area or my uh, window. And so they're going to see something like this, whether they took the QR code or they took your link, they're going to see something like this and I'm going to click or they are going to click on the button. Now I just want to go back to this. And so we're going to look at this as far as viewing the memories. And I want you to see here that there's nothing written. Now notice this one says, 2-19, this one says 1-0, 3-16. What that relates to is the numbers of videos and pictures you have in your actual uh, event. And so there's nothing in here, okay? This event is empty. If I click on this view uploaded, it says no items found. So let's go back and we're doing this live. And obviously it's a recording of me doing it live. But if we go to this page and I click to upload a video, I'm just gonna click on a couple different pictures here. So, you know, this is the picture, this of me and Chewy is the one that we see right here. This is a different angle, a little smaller. So let's see, we'll add that one. I'm gonna control click on that one. We'll do this picture of me, that picture of me. Uh, me when I was a little kid playing football, me and my daughter, uh, me when I came back from the Peace Corps, had long hair. Me a couple years ago during COVID and I grew my hair again. And uh, me scuba diving. And so it doesn't matter how many you choose, but you can choose as many as you want. I'm gonna click open and notice within seconds, it accepts them if I decided I didn't want one. So let's say for example, I said, oh wait, wait, I didn't want this one with my hat on. I can just delete it and it should go away. It may take a second there. I think I might've deleted an additional one, but that's all right. I just uh, wasn't paying attention fast enough. So once we go through, we're gonna click start upload and then they will start to go and notice some of them are going super fast. Okay, some of them are going super fast and how uh, quickly they're actually uploading. And here's the powerful part about Memory Place. Once people upload their videos, they have the opportunity to enter their name and their email so that they can be notified when that event goes live. So right now my event is private. So if we go back over here, notice it is green and it's private. So notice there's a difference between yellow or orange that says make private and make public. Right now, mine is private. So I would have to physically click this. It says click this button if you're ready to have your guests see your event by making it public rather than private. You can change it back private anytime. So right now, no one can see the pictures. I'd have to share them a different link. And what is going to happen once they actually enter their name and their email, they're going to go on your email list actually in two places. One is actually as basically someone that is in memory place because just the whole system memory place because the memory place system has to automate an email. As soon as I click that make public button, the software automates and sends a message to everyone that's in that event. The other where, or the other place I should say, or, or where else the uh, lead goes into is in a separate campaign that you can obviously create your own follow-ups and just have like an instant message that, and I would recommend that says, you know, hey, thanks for sharing pictures of my event. You know, I'm so excited to look at all the pictures and hopefully, you know, within X amount of time, we'll be getting those out to you. And then you can also follow up with live broadcast leads as well. And you can actually do that in both locations. And so there's training videos inside the member area. For example, if you go where it says email your guest, and then if you go in reseller tools, will you see the lead capture system? There's a whole series of videos. All you have to do is click one of these orange buttons and you'll see a whole series of videos that I personally have created. I'm the master trainer for the parent company and they've imported those same videos in here because the platform that we're using is based on the same original parent platform, but this is a new product in there with some of the main tools. And so once they do that, let's say they decide to do that, they're gonna become on your list and you can follow up with them, which is super cool and super powerful because guess what? You can build a list that way. So if you're a business builder, let's say you own a business and you have a restaurant and you want uh, people to take pictures, 
because people are always taking pictures, but you want them to share them with you so you can use them for your social media campaigns and use them for your, uh, you know, your own blogs and your websites. And so you could actually place something like a QR code on a menu or maybe on a little, uh, you know, a little three by five little stand on the table next to the condiments. And then people could snap that QR code, they could upload their pictures, they could be notified. And then now you have them on your email list. You can follow up with them next time you have a sale, next time you have, you know, maybe you're doing a special offer, maybe you're doing a discount, maybe you're, you know, doing a BOGO offer, buy one, get one, or maybe you're doing a free appetizer just for that restaurant. The ideas are endless with how you could do this. Now, the alternate is they click this button that says no thanks. If they click the button that says no thanks, then obviously they're number one, not gonna be able to know when the event goes live. And number two, they're not gonna be able to know uh, any other details from you. So I'm gonna just show you that for this case. They're gonna click no, but this is what's powerful even more, regardless of whether they clicked and entered their email or if they click no. Okay, both processes, after they go through and either fill in their, ne their name and email, or if they click no, they're gonna get this secondary pop-up where they can actually create their own memory place account. Now, if people are at a wedding and they're snapping pictures and they're taking videos of people dancing and the bride and groom and you know friends and relatives and cousins and people they haven't seen and you know the great food, next thing you know, they're sharing all those pictures, they might think you know in the back of their head, wow, this is a brilliant software you know, I have another graduation coming up. My kids play sports. Um, you know, I have a family reunion coming up. I'm going to have a wedding or I'm going to be in another wedding. I can use this for my business or I own a business. So they may want to try out and notice. Here's the kicker. They can try it out for free. So you can try Memory Place out for free just by filling that in there. And so if you haven't yet, make sure you click one of those links below. But that is the process of uploading a pictures for an event. And what I want to do... Notice now after we do that, so I clicked out of that, I didn't want that, and notice it says thank you for contributing to save your best pictures with Dave from the event event. Now, probably because uh, this ended, it was called from the event, and then it just doubled the words because the name of the event was event. So uh, something like that is kind of funny to look at. But when we go back, notice again, I am at zero over zero. Okay, I didn't have anything there before, but watch what happens when I refresh the page. Notice I now have zero in six. That means I have zero videos and six pictures. Remember, videos and then pictures. So if we click on to view them, we're going to see the ones that I clicked on. And so we have me and Chewy from a different angle. We got me with the long hair after Peace Corps. We got me a couple years ago with my COVID hair, me and my daughter scuba diving. Um, and I think there might have been two with the hat. Maybe one did get deleted. Um, if not, maybe I just didn't press the button right. So super cool, very easy way to use and share pictures. Now your users, again, the end user would only see this. If they wanted to add more, they could say, oh, wait, I forgot this other video. Or maybe they saved it on their phone and then an hour later, they come back and they click something like this and say, oh yeah, okay, I wanna add more pictures. So it brings you back to the event. We're gonna click on it. So I'm gonna click on... Uh, this one, me and my, my daughter from many years ago, will click start upload and it will do the process again. It'll say, hey, do you want to be notified? So super cool. So if they maybe didn't decide before, then maybe next time they're like, all right, maybe I do want to do it. They can enter their email. Again, I'm just going to save that for now. No, wait. Maybe they get started. They create the free account. No, they don't. Or again, it just goes back to the event. Now, notice it says, please click here to find more about Memory Place. So if they didn't, they still have another reminder to do it again. If we click this, they now get to go to the actual page. They get to see what's going on. And notice I mentioned a free account right there. You can try it out for free. And when they're linked through your website and they go through that process, what's going to happen at the very end? Again, this is a demo website. So this one's not my account, but notice it says memory dev uh, at the bottom. I'm going to go through and we're going to show you my other account. This is my official account. And so, for example, let's do, I'm going to do one for the blog here. So we're just going to test this out and show you what I'm talking about. It only has two pictures in it. I'm going to upload a third picture. And so when we do this, and so this is a very different one. So notice share an image with Dave for the blog. See how our memory place works by sharing an image. So we're going to upload that photo or video. And we're just going to go into pictures 
And I'm going to pick, um, you know, here's one with me and some guys when I lived in Belize. So I'm going to upload that. We're going to click start upload. We're going to get that going. And I just want to show you. So we're going to do no thanks. We're going to do, uh, you know, no thanks. But it's going to, again, welcome me and thank you and, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can add more pictures or I can find out more about what's going on. Now, if you can actually look down at the corner of your of your video screen, you'll actually see a huge string of letters. And I want to show you two, two important things here. When they click on that, there's a huge string and it. it shows, you know, memoryplace.com, vidUber, slash my place, or, or m place, slash new underscore content, ID question mark. And here's where it's important. Dave Gardner, it's my ID. So if someone decides to set an account, I get credit for it if they decide to upgrade later on. If they click the button, Notice at the very top, here it goes, Dave Gardner, because that one was accredited to my official account instead of someone else's account, which again is the development account that I was testing on. So if we go back to that other one, the development account was a little bit different. When we highlight or you know hover over this, it would have had that long string of other material. So super cool, super easy. Um, just to show you again how that process works of adding pictures to your event with Memory Place.